FICO is a global company. We spend a lot of time deploying in different countries, um, you know, availability zones, regions, so on and so forth. Um, depending on each of those regions, we have a number of applications that we deploy. We're always known as the credit scoring company, but we're actually large scale analytics. Um, so there's a, a lot of different uh, financial government institutions that we integrate with and uh, moving towards a distributed model gives higher availability to them, more peace of mind. Allows us to also touch on small, medium-sized businesses that we would lose uh, typically, um, being an on-prem or a, a larger cloud deployment. FICO traditionally was based on a legacy VMware-centric model, uh, very monolithic large blocks of compute being deployed. And as we move towards a distributed application architecture, um, it made more sense to start moving towards OpenStack. Not from just a cost basis, but from a scalability basis. Yeah. So we looked at a lot of different um, solutions. We looked at the, the traditional VMware-centric model. We looked at you know uh, containers. Um, really, at the end, it made sense for us to actually do a, a combination of distributed architecture. Um, so part of that was um, moving towards OpenStack, moving towards containerization. Uh, we use OpenShift um, as part of that design. Uh, we also run a combination of Docker and other different types of containers. So our OpenStack deployment right now is a combination of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Um, we're also using SolidFire and uh, Ceph for storage. Um, we use Cisco UCS for the hardware, um, and we specifically run a hyper-converged model, um, which is a little bit different than the traditional design uh, for most OpenStack environments where you separate compute from storage. But we found that we actually get good density from it, and depending on uh, the number of applications that are being deployed in a cradle, which is like an availability zone, um, it allows us to actually meet scale and cut costs. Leading to that model really was cost sensitive, um, and also the, the scalability. Those were the main contributing factors. FICO really likes the fact that it's open source software. Um, we don't just want to be a consumer, we want to actually participate. So the fact that it's open source for us is actually an advantage. Uh, you know, we're not just a consumer, right? But every other type of uh, uh, platform that we looked at, for the most part, didn't allow that type of flexibility and didn't allow us to partner. Uh, so we're currently actually global. Uh, we have Australia, we have Turkey, um, we have South Africa. Uh, we have the general regions within the United States, um, but we also have expanded into China. Uh, we have stuff going in in Japan. Um, so I would say within the last 12 to 18 months, give or take, uh, we probably tripled in size and number of deployments, um, and that's all been with OpenStack. We find the OpenStack summits to be very engaging. Uh, attending all the development um, really helps in a lot of different ways. Always looking forward to the new advances and roadmaps and integration with different components. Um, I find that to be fascinating, so I, I find myself staying up later and, and, and reading more documentation and white papers as opposed to um, you know, going to sleep when I should. Um, but it, it's more engaging. Uh, and there's not anything really that we've determined from a, a performance perspective or anything that can't be solved with software really at this point in time. So we're actually looking towards doing integration with CloudForms and OpenShift uh, on top of OpenStack. Uh, that's gonna be our, our de facto standard um, when it comes to design. Uh, Cisco UCS is gonna be the, the hardware profile that we're gonna be basing everything on. We're gonna tie that into UCS Central. But I think the, the paramount things are having a single pane of glass from a management perspective where we could tie in uh, RESTful-based APIs.